voicemail. You know, you would think Dad would at least call us to let us know what the delay was about. Maybe you should call over to the McBains. You know, they like you, and maybe you could ask them what's going on. Mom, that is the last thing they need is to hear from one of us right now. All right. Maybe they're just taking their time saying goodbye to him. Although I don't know why their dad would let them. No. All he wanted to do was go over there, pick up the baby, and come home. He wouldn't give them the time to do anything extra. Yeah, that is something dad would do. Yeah. That bothers you? Well, yeah, I mean, I... I guess Dad is angry because he felt deprived of his son for so long, but the McBeans, they were great parents, and I saw that when I babysat for them. I mean, Mrs. McBean didn't even want to leave Tommy for an hour, and she would always call and check up on him. It's just a sad thing, that's all. Yeah. It's sad. I just wish that dad would see their side of the story for once. I do too, baby, but you know what? Your dad is not a patient man, especially when he feels like he's been wronged. Oh, I just hope that everything is all right. Yeah, you guys are gonna love these alliterations I'm gonna use in the headline tomorrow. Todd Manning's toddler taken. And then I've got uh, Killing Club author, Kidnaps Kid. Oh, just shut up. Or, or what, John? What are you gonna do? Aren't you gunless and badgeless now? Manny, what do you really want here, huh? Well, what do you think I want? I'd like my son. Exactly. So why don't you let us figure out the best way for us to get you your son back with the least amount of trouble? Sir, it's yes. now been two hours. Two hours? We're losing time. Put an APB out on Marcy McBain. Hey, don't you think they were jumping the gun on that? John, look, you know the drill. It's two hours, okay? We've got a fugitive on our hands now. Daddy keeps calling. You know, it's not that I don't love him, because you know I do. You know I love him, right? It's just he kept a really big secret from me. He lied to me for a really long time, and I am... I'm just not sure I can trust him anymore, so right now it's just you and me, all right? It's just the two of us. And I know that you don't understand, but look, you will, all right? You'll understand one day and you will know that this was for the best. I promise. Be in touch if we have more questions. Good night, Commissioner. Good night. So you guys are such useless idiots. Just standing here, doing nothing. While his lunatic wife is out there somewhere with my son. I mean, she's gotten so much headway. We may never find her, or my son for that matter. My wife is not only sane, she is a caring, loving person. Okay, she's gonna come back. I know it's a travesty of justice. You will get your son. You know it's a travesty. Actually, what's a tragedy, Michael? is that my son was living next to me, essentially. The same neighborhood, for months. I didn't know. But you did, didn't you? You did, and you said nothing. Let me tell you something else. Any woman who would take someone else's kid and climb out a window and take him is anything but responsible. Marcy is a wonderful mother. Yeah. Everybody knows And now that. she's a criminal, just like you. And if she crosses that state line, do you know what happens? This kidnapping becomes a federal offense. And she's gonna go away a long time. But you know the positive thing about that is? Then I can deal with the FBI instead of you jerks. Wish I knew where I was going. You know your mom, right? I've got no sense of direction. Oh God. Sign out there. New Jersey Turnpike. Just what I was looking for. You should see Jack. He fell asleep up in the guest bedroom. The book in one hand, Fuzzy Bunny in the other. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I guess we'll just wake him when Dad and the baby gets home. Okay. I think that we should try calling Dad again. All right. Voicemail. Todd, Star and I are sitting here waiting for you, and actually we're really beginning to get a little nervous and worry, so please call us when you know what's going on. Maybe it's Todd. Todd? Thanks, Sat. Thanks, dude. What happened? Are you okay? I'll tell you what, man. Till I tell you otherwise, this is my case. It's not the FBI's. You interfere with it, I'll have you tossed. Bo, you didn't have to call in an APV. You know, my, my wife was upset. She went out. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's much more calm now. She's probably on her way home. I like how she is. She's probably halfway to the border by now. And this woman is a basket case in the best of circumstances. I don't know why she'd be calmed down now, <clears throat> especially when she knows she's committed a crime. Call her again, Mike. Okay. It's Daddy again? Huh? He's probably worried out of his mind, maybe. What do you think? Should I answer, honey? He's probably never gonna stop calling if I don't. Hello, Michael. Marcy. Oh, 